Green Book is the winner of three Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture. Ladies and gentlemen, a great American artist, Don Shirley. He has performed at the White House twice. Best Supporting Actor, Mahershala Ali. Would you learn how to play like that? My mother, as soon as I could walk. You're unbelievable. I think what really intrigued me about Don Shirley was how complicated he was. Um, there's just so much to pull from in terms of um, uh, just the things he was dealing with, uh, the things that he struggled with, the things that he, he exhibited a degree of excellence in. Um, so just the range of things that I was going to be challenged with in tackling was, was really attractive. Green Book is in reference to um, what was called the Negro Motorist Green Book, which um, was around in the 60s, which basically instructed black people or directed black people where they could stay in the South safely and be welcomed um, because, you know, our country was segregated at that time. And um, what I learned was that it was something that gave a lot of African Americans um, a little bit of peace in traveling because they knew they could plot their journey. They knew exactly where they could stay and and not necessarily go to these towns or these cities and be worried about uh, finding a place to sleep. It's definitely more of a drama, but I think the way in which Peter Fairley and the writers, uh, Brian Curry and Nick Vallelonga, I think the way in which they they just so perfectly sculpted this script, that there hasn't been a lot of changes on the day. And they really struck a really beautiful balance of, I think, pulling you to the heights of laughter and sort of bringing you to the depths of someone's struggle and their, and their pain. He's just immersed in the character. And so how he pitches ideas and bouncing things, things off you uh, is something that is really unique. And I've just really learned a lot from, from how he approaches the character, how he lives in the character. Um, I think it, I've always been that person who will say, uh, can I get one more, like one more take? And Vigo will always ask for one more than I do. <laughs> so, um, so he's very much a, a perfectionist, and and it's been, it's it really has been a clinic in work working with him, and and a real joy, and he's been a wonderful ally. As a black musician wanting to play classical music, being limited to a certain type of music, um, because of how people may people may not accept him, you know? And I think that there, that, is, that is relevant in a certain way now because can, just take Hollywood for instance, can a woman lead X, Y, and Z? Well, the perception is these films don't do well here or this doesn't sell here. And so the effort is not truly made to do that overseas or do that internationally because the perception is it won't do well there. So how does that ever change? How does, how does someone ever really reach their capacity or their potential if the ideal is already that you're a failure or that you will fail at something before you're even given the opportunity? So I don't think that that ever, I don't think we've gotten over that as a culture, whether that be specifically about a, an African-American issue or a gender issue or LGBTQ issue, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't, those issues have, have always been a part of our culture, and I think that they continue to to transform in some way, and that's something that we always have to shed light on and try to eradicate. Mm -hmm.